In part two of this enthralling, and absolutely riveting interview with jockey Alan Mirage, even more insight is given into his amazing career. In part two, Mirage continues to speak on his suspension, winning his first classic race, injuries, his association with local Derby winner, Miracle Man, and winning the Derby in Trinidad and Tobago. Again, this is another must-watch interview on quickgallop.com and its YouTube channel, The Quick Galloper. I couldn't come to the track and nothing. Nothing to do with the racers I could go. No way, they said, I have to stay not even on the, the 100 feet a yard from the truck, a betting shop. Anyway, I go to Spanish Town and I open up a little shop for go on, on, you know, and then after the year now, I pay my fine and go back riding again. So, you know, I'm there again, picking up some ride and start to win here and there, going on, and then like, um, Philip used to give me some, right, Mr. Fiani, and then, you know, like all the, the people I'm now, Norman Palmer, he is one of my favorite person because he always looking out for me. So, you know, he always there for me, and he give me, I'll win a lot of races for him too. So, I start to ride for everybody, get in, everybody kind of get to know me. And then that's where I start. But in between, you know, I get some suspension, all kind of little things here and there. So, you know, it's like every time I get going, something go wrong. Mm -hmm. Then I get to win the, the Guinness. The 1,000 Guinness. The 1,000, really. For all, and how I get that right. The morning of entry, Mr. Mark, That's can't right. get a jacket to ride it. The Never, and this not to ride it first. And when Neville said before I ride it, I ride the real. <laughs> <laughs> this is a five furlong horse. He said that horse can't even go six furlong much less. So he said, all right, um, give me a paper. I will see your if Neville not to ride, I will put you up. I get the ride. Long shot. Never, have a look, never look like it have a chance. It happened that I win, win that race. At long odds? Long odds. Like that was the first classic? Yeah, the first classic. Mm -hmm. Then the following year now, the following year, I win with Ravina. That's Willoughby Simpson? Yeah, that's Willoughby Sim Simpson. That has coming out for like six months or more. Yeah. Okay. Like six months in the race for steel issue and that one I win. Just hang on. Anyway. It goes on and then I won a lot of second into Guinness, but I've never really get a live shot into any of the big race. But all my horses, as you know, Peace. always there, always there. Probably not win, but they always second, third, always in the frame there, and it's all long shot. But Bongo, there must be something to that. It can't be just coincidence. What well, do you think? Because they are, I mean, outsiders by and large, and yet still you get them consistently to be there or thereabouts. Why? Well, my records speak for itself. I don't know why, but it's sure. And I always believe that into big races, I know that I will take just about any horse to ride. Would it be fair to say that you prefer the longer distances compared to the shorter distances? Yes, longer distance is more of a harder race to ride. It might look easier, but it's more like you have to know pace, you have to know to get your ass relaxed, you have to know when to make a move. You know, short more race, race. More of a thinker's race. Short race, the fastest as you go and you just go and by time, you know, you, you look, if, I mean, it, the race is done. You, usually, it's the better as in short race. Usually. Going long race, it's like you can use, even if you pick up a place, you can use some kind of s skill there. Like yeah, because jockey that, I, I think it, it boils down to the jockey that make fewer mistakes when yeah. they're going long. Long. will win the races. Right, right. Less mistake, less. People that long race, it's not an easy race as you think. It's more harder for the rate us to get yourself not to 
run off or to get them to get us to do something it's very few of us you can get to work with you yeah. so it's kind of tough that way okay so we started with fjord then we had ravina, ravina. which other classic winners have you had here comes Fungi. That is in the St. Ledger? Yeah. Miracle Man. Miracle Man. Yes. We have reached a seminal moment in this interview. Miracle Man, regarded by many as one, certainly in the top five thoroughbred to race ever on the local racing track. He was uh, trained by Alan A. Billy Williams. Tell us about your association with Miracle Man leading up to your victory in the Derby and your two wins in the then Red Stripe Super, Super Stakes. Well, m me and Mr. Duan become good friends. That is the owner of? The owner of Miracle Man. So I win a lot of race and then, you know, it's like I can get on the horse and I will give him a good guideline and he will Every time I tell him something, it works. You know, it's like this, that, and it works. So he has 100% trust into me. So, and one thing with him I like, if he says, there's two persons that I can tell you, once they said they're going to give you a ride, you know, no matter what, they, they stick to their word. Mr. Jagai, that's um, Henry, the owner mm -hmm. of Bombay Farm, He's the first one to bring me go Trinidad. And I remember and said, you want to ride this horse in the Jackie Club stick? And say yes. And then he gives me the ride. I win. And then he's going to Trinidad in the Derby. And first time, and quite a few guys got to him to get the ride. And he said, no. I mean, champion jockeys. And he said, no. I tell Bongo that I'm going to give him. And he stick to him word. And it went third. I mean, it went a good race. It's Which horse was that? Ferrari. Yeah. Uh, like four Jamaican horse were good there. Yeah. Ferrari was one of them. And um, Sir Roger. I like four of them one in that race. So, you know, and Fudge was the same thing. When he give you a ride and said, that is your ride, then so promised me the ride. The first time I ride him. That's Miracle Man. Miracle Man. Man. He have a next horse that usually beat him into work. And when I work Miracle Man, that horse beat him, but I said, Fudgy, this horse is a horse. For, although that horse beat him, it's only three furlong. But he just keep going and him stride him. And I said, this horse, if I, he not really putting out, you could know him down empty. So was that when Miracle Man was a two-year-old? Yes, and then I said, this is here. So the first time he run, he run, I ride him and it win. Then he jump, go straight into the Toyota. Mm -hmm. He run second. Mm -hmm. it's, it, when he break, he stumble and he come and he run second. That time, um, Mr. Azan have two hours that you just win by 15, 20 length. Um, called Train and Kam Kamala, we born him. Mm. Those two hours, they look like and he split the boat after he won second, split them. And then it was going into the I ride him back now into I never win two, going a mile. Win by good. Run good time and we say, yes, this is the Guinness house now. Those hours can be me back. Well it happened. Before he run the Guinness, like the Monday, it running on the Saturday, the Monday morning it was the race day that time I was riding us, Daniel. Choo, choo, choo. First time for Philip. I work in this house every time, and I said, I want to ride him. That morning, I finished work, run over, and a guy dropped off of us. And they called me back just to put him up. So when I threw him up, the guy slipped on him foot, go on the ass, but I'm on the ass, jump and jump and broke my foot. That wow. morning, and I said, this ass here, don't matter what, I'm going to ride him, right? And I ice my foot, I sit and I say, I have to ride this ass here. I have three riding there. And you know the one who know how to ride, we trace him there. The last race. 
the next two don't have any chance. <laughs> and I say, I can't take off for them. I have to go ride them. And then still run all right, you know, but the last one now, that time I said, I burn up my foot. I have to put something to roll it. Like I to roll it from first step right across my instep there. Anyway, I end up winning the race. I couldn't go on the house. I said, Philip, just lift me up and put on it. Philip said, you sure? He said, yes. So we put it up from in the saddling box. For I couldn't jump up. Mm -hmm. And I go up on him. When I come down, he must have been taking me down too. I couldn't <laughs> come up. I can't jump on it. Anyway, I win the race. And I go straight to the hospital. And them couldn't ride the Merrick man in the Guineas. I lost that ride. The first leg of the Triple Crown. Um, Trevor Simpson ride him. He came second. Now, I went up back in the state for that's where I live now. And um, the dog be coming up like in six weeks, I think. Mm -hmm. So when I go up there, they said, this is going to take like three months, six weeks. Listen to this now. This is what I'm telling you. There's a horse by the name of Chinlo Charlie that my brother and stuff for the moon. And the first time he going to run back, he runs second. I, me ride him, but he break his leg. Mm -hmm. They pin him leg. That is like a, nine months ago. They pin him leg, and it come back now. So I'm going to run like a week before the derby. So this horse here coming out for nine months with, with a buck foot that they pin three squinting foot. I said, so the trainer, David Fox, that with me, said to me, he called me and he said, where you is? I said, well, I'm in Jamaica. You mean, what you doing? You coming to our house? I said, yes. So I tell him that I'm down in Jamaica, working. So I'm up there riding. So Fudge called me, you know, I said, so you going to our house in the lab? And he said, yes. Well, the day of the race, the man declared me and Chino Charlie. That is one week before the derby. I said, I am going to ride this horse. I go to the doctor back and I said, you know, um, he said, no, you have a couple more weeks left. This can come off like a month more. I go home and I use a sander and I cut it off. <laughs> that is the day before the race, you know. This is a gold stream, no? This at, no, color. Color. And I cut it off and I said, man, I have to go ban up the foot again because I don't want to go broke out again, right? Yeah. Ban it up and I put on, uh, you know, like them cheetah's boot. But I ban it good and I go and I win the race. I win by a neck. That race, a five and a half. Never forget that race. So, feel good now. I tell for just say, I can't come till then, the derby, you know, for me to have a ride up here. So me up there, me had to swim in, but really, me no one come work no ass on my foot. Mm -hmm. So me had to do my exercise, and I come straight in the derby, and win the derby. With the American man. The miracle man. So, and I have to do the same thing. Not, so I do it like for like, couple back and forth, you know, with me banging up my foot and things. How good is, how good is miracle man in your estimation? Well, miracle man, he do anything. If I ride him into a sim for long with clock, clock work, mm -hmm. we were winning like 10 years and faster sauce. And I said, this race here, yeah, one year clock work can lose. You have to have ball in. And I tell him, clock work is a direct sprint and nobody can leave. him. just go down with him in like nine, 10 years straight. And I warm him up and when I come out the gate, I rush him and I tell him this. I head down with clock work, you know. I, I ball in and I say, nah, make him left me and I nah, left him. Mm. You see, at the four furl, I miss a child go, I say, yes, I know I have you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I miss that, I will just whoop up and I'm in that race. I say, miracle man, he just take, he's a tough horse. You have to ride him, you have to ask him to go. And you won also this Jamaica Saint Ledger with uh, miracle man. Yeah, and with, here comes Fudgy. And, he, right. and then I won two super stake with Miracle Man. Mm -hmm. Miracle Man went to the Confraternity Classic in Puerto Rico. Yes. As a four-year-old. Three years. Yes, yes, four-year-old. As a four-year-old. Why didn't you ride? He was coming too light. So I get a rider from up there. You know, a good friend of mine. And he won with him. 
so that was good. And then I ride him back now, so in the super stay going for three now, but when I get on him now, I feel him start to, you know, like stumble, stumble, and I know something was going on. So I tell Fudgy, said, Fudgy, this is you know, something going on. Anyway, he won second in the, for, for the third time he going for the super stake. But they, then after that race, they ship him out and I ride him up. But when he went over there you now and the well, vet... That's where? That's over Puerto Rico back. Okay, okay. So when he goes, the vet them over there, them said, well, he can't run because he have a spur. So he did already there, so um, them, you know, said, well, since he come here, them only can just probably infuse him and hope that he can finish the race. But that would be him last race there, whether or not. So you still give him a chance. He came forth, but he retired. I mean, uh, after that? After that. He was going to retire in any case, so they retired the chance of running there still. Okay. In your build up to in your build up to the derby with Miracle Man and you, you mentioned getting injuries. What impact has injuries made on your career, if any? A lot. A lot of sometimes I just fight it. And, and go ahead and just ride with it because every time I'm going to like something coming up, something happened to me. So I said, I, won't, I don't even care. I said, I'm going to still ride. I don't care. I just don't matter. I'm just going to ride still. And it worked out that it always win because like determination is a thing that you have to tell yourself, say, this is what you're going to do and this is what you're going to do. In nothing not going to change it. And that's one thing I do with myself. I say, I don't care. Foot broke, or hands slip. I, I ride ass up there with, a, with my shoe on and slip out in the race, but I couldn't win that race. <laughs> but it was out behind me, my shoulder. That's when I go do surgery and get it back in, you know? So when I get up there and I into the US, I start to ride. I win one race in the first race and I had one for pinching in the foot race. And now I get going for the one for David Fox now to ride it. You know, if I start to pick up there, I get in, everybody start to give me that. Here comes, win the first one, ride in the second one, and I ask, cut me down completely. And the next I step in my back, pluck two ribs, punch your lungs, was out. That set me back again. Mm. So I mean, the motor so, set so, back so, again. So you don't feel the pain. You do I mean, but I, broken I, ribs, long yeah, puncture. Listen, I don't even take painkiller. Really? Well, I will take an anti-inflammatory, and it just like for two days when it's really bad. I, I want to feel the pain that I don't overdo anything. Okay. And it, when you feel the pain, it heals faster for your body repair it. Okay. I will just ice it for it not to build up too much. Um, inflammation. But icing is like my painkiller. I mean, you don't want black the pain. Mm -hmm. And that's I mean, you, you spoke about some of the races, some of the major races you, you have won. Yes. But you also won the Trinidad and Tobago Derby. Yes. Tell us about that one. <laughs> well, that house now. What's the name of that house? Be assembled. So, win quite a few big races over there. Like the first time I go, I run third with the Sir Roger Reeb, as I tell you. The second time, um, Chris Armand tell Derek, say, bring down this man, he, he can ride, you know, give him a shot. I ride us by Enchanted Alex into the sentence, which is that the Guinness here. I win that race. So I start to, then I ride um, Storm Street, I think I win the, the Gold Cup. I have some big race over there. I don't think, I win like three races with that horse, and I win some other races, but I win quite a few races over there too. But oh, that yeah. derby now, <laughs> when I go now, he said, I'm going to come two weeks before I say I can't come. He said, right, come 10 days. I go for 10 days, almost two weeks. When I go, I'm getting on the horse. That horse feel, don't feel right. So I kind of look. They are so rubbing off in the back heels, then bad, bad. I say, okay. 
So find, you know, ten months, and this is the problem. I find it to work in. But when I look in the book now, that task get 49 lengths beaten, <laughs> like a furlong, half a furlong, with the same set as them. He just break his maiden over there. And funny break his maiden, he run in three of the race with the good ass them. And he can't even run by 20 length class. He won like 40, 36. <laughs> so I said, man, this is waste of time. Anyway, I ride ass the week before and I win. If I say, my God, give me a maiden, I do win with it. I come up now and I have that ride here. I say, man, but I'm beat. I go look bad at me. I'm not going to ride it. You know, it don't make sense. I said, but anyhow, you can, if you don't have a ride, you don't have a shot. I'm going to ride it. And that's working the ass and the and thing. Same thing. When I break, I break early. When I just love the ass, it trail off. Well, I said, I'm not going to move yet because I don't know, I, I'm planning to him beat one ass, <laughs> right, with him. I say, even if I beat one ass, I feel good. Well, when he reach like 25, I go, and I feel him move, I say, yes, he have some things, so there must be something, you know, I feel good. But they're still there, so you know what I do? I just sit on the rail, and everybody start moving from the half mile. When I look, the entire feel like a bungalow. Then at the full line and a half now, I see a little opening and I go right between and drop out a lead, like on three quarter furlong and just go by and win. It was a surprise to me, but it's, it was a good one. I didn't expect, but I still ride him to win, but what, I know. What was the odds, do you remember? 87 to one. It was 99 to one and the owner, him alone by him by for 300 dollars. <laughs> He uh, said he, he get more money than the post, <laughs> right? Look out for part three of this lifetime narrative with Alan Bongo John Mirage. Thank you for watching another video produced by the team from quickgallop.com, YouTube channel, The Quick Galloper. Please stay on the channel for more enlightening videos on those involved in local horse racing. Please like, subscribe, and press the notification bell.